63 is what is in the lead and show us what you can do here cowgirl look at this horse come on man yep yep we're grabbing gears and we're partying right now well unfortunately for our cowgirl if you knock down the barrel it's going to be a five second penalty added on to the time Puts her at 1933, including 19 and 33, including the five second penalty for the knockout barrel. Lindsay Hampton from Valen, California will be our next cowgirl. To the right, we're gonna give it a shot. And turning and burning we are. Check them up, sit down and go. All right, are you still with us, man? Sure, let her hit you. Good enough for second place. Oh, check that. Hold on. Wait. Come out. That's what I thought. Hey, our new leader, 14 and 35. 14 and 35 for Lindsay Hampton. She now moves into the lead. And it comes down to our final cowgirl, Kimberly Body. Main grandstands. You can make a little bit of noise on that second turn if you'd like to. This is the one where everybody comes in. Check this out. We saved the best run for last. Your fastest time, 14.18 seconds for Kimberly Body, 14.18. And we are going to take a victory lap behind the official team shirt of the Wranglers. Our cowgirl with the fast time this afternoon. Those horses like that good weather. And a big thank you goes out to our good friends from 
Gold Coast Toyota and bringing out that beautiful Toyota Defender, the 2011 Truck of the Year. Up to 10,000 better into the Cowboy with a no score. Shoot number five is where we're going to be looking to. Wild and Waspy is starting the party in the shoots. Says, are you sure you want to do this? I might change your mind. Any rough stock event is about 20% physical and 80% mental. You can't let stuff like a shoot fighting horse or bull rattle your gauge. You gotta go about your business, get on there, nod your head, and then say go. Instead of I think I can, I think I can, I know I can. I think doesn't count. Right? Our cowboy taking the predetermined measure on that bronc rein. If the bronc rein is too long, the cowboy is going to go out the back door. If it's too short, it's going to pull them down over in front, do what they call in the industry of lawn darting them. That's right. Lawn darts you do not want to be. Wild and wild. Especially, especially as hard as this lawn is. Yeah. It looks nice and fluffy, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. It's really not. It's kind of hard. All right. My wife asked me a question the other day. I didn't what? think I was going to be able to answer it. What did she ask you? She said, honey, if I died, would you remarry? And what did you tell that poor woman? Well, <laughs> that's a tough one, guys. Is that a tough one or what? Did you see that? Man, look at that good frog. Checking out right there. My friends, there's a lot of misunderstood individuals that believe that these horses are made to buck. That's about like the same as saying that you put gloves on somebody's hand and make them fight. That doesn't make them a fighter. These horses come from the Born to Buck program. You take an outstanding stud horse, which is the daddy horse, and a mare, which is the mama. You put them together and hope that the offspring do the same thing in the industry, and that is put cowboys in the money or the dirt. Now, our cowboy came out there, and he got fouled. That means that that horse put his leg taken. Do we have any bull riding pants left with us? Make some noise. It was Sammy Matthews who had the 68 point ride in the first section of the bulls, and that is who we're going to go to right now. Money Maker is the name of the bull that Sammy has drawn. Brand we go. We are going to be doing extreme motocross riding directly following this. If you have not seen that, we invite you to see it live. We've got some of the best guys in the industry. Unbelievable. I've been watching bull riding all my life, and I've never been scared like I have when you go to see this in a while. I tell you what, we Every had the rare opportunity, Hollywood, you and I, to watch these guys practice. And we've seen a lot of cool stuff in our industry, but it's hard to compete with these guys. They are top notch. Unbelievable. Hold on to your hearts, ladies. We got bull riding first. Right now, Sammy Matthews in shoot number six. What's winning so far, boss? 68 points, and we're looking at the man who brought it to us. We can do that. We can do 75. All right, Sammy, have a little fun here. Second bull this afternoon, the Cowboys gotten on. Oh, hang on, Cowboy. Here we go. Come on, Sammy. Sit up. Yes, Sammy. He's there for the eight seconds. Two in a row for Sammy Matthews. We'll look down to our officials, Rocky Stegall and Steve Yost, to see how they awarded the Cowboys for his effort along with Bull. Hey, that's a tail catch. 67 points for Sammy Matthews, 67. Have you ever seen anybody rope, rope the cow, Bull's tail before like that? Who we look to now? He is drawn Tombstone. Shoot number five. Sammy Matthews is the man who put the 67 point ride in the lead for the second section of the bull riding. He also won the first section of the bull riding with a 68 point ride. Well, the bull's laying down on him right there. You know what you call that, don't you? What is that? Ground beef. <laughs> well, that might have been all that bull needed to hear. He says, I think I'll buck instead of being a taco. Or bulldoze in either one. 
A little bull nap. You know what you call a bull with two legs? What's that? Lean beef. <laughs> you know what you call a bull with no legs? What's that? Nothing. He won't come to you anyway. <laughs> hey, we're going to move back one. We're going to do a different bull. Let this bull stand up. We're going to let that one uh, down to right now. One qualified for ride by Sammy Matthews. 67 points is what these bull riders are competing against. Our good friend, Mr. Tomas Garcia Alonso, out here. Wait until you see the way Tomas ropes the bull. Unbelievable. A little is. bit different. He's got about a 160 foot rope with him. He can rope a big, big bull with that rope. Huh? You rope him by the tail. Let me see you rope him by the tail. Here's Russell Baldwin. Yeah, Russell. There for the eight seconds, and that is going to be a no score for Russell Baldwin. No score. Hey, this guy wants the bull to come over here. What is he? The dude on the front row right here. Oh, oh, you're just trying to help him out. Yeah. He's handing out equine ivory enemas. I thought you had him, Tomas. I thought you had him. Wrong vein line. Giving it a shot, Tomas. Out the gate. Oh. Yo, you want me to make him go out? Watch a lay, Tomas. Watch a lay. There you go. Aaron Hargo has a. How about a hand for our entire crew out here? Our three arena safety man, Drop Payne Line. Dick Grizzleman, Tomas Garcia Alonso. Of course, the bull bait, Aaron Hargo. that is in shoot number three. His dad, Harry Rose, is one of the officials at the National Finals Rodeo. Come on, Casey. Oh, hey. Man. He had it started. That bull set him up and then put him down. Tough luck for a lot of talented kid there. No score for Casey Rose. No score. Good try, Casey. And as Gold Coast Toyota clears the arena, the same way our good friends at Gold Coast Toyota clear a lot with great prices and deals. I'm not sure that that bull's bluffing. I think he is. Yeah, we'll go there and find out. The best freestyle motocross riders that you'll ever see. These guys are top notch. They're at the top of their game. You're not going to want to miss it. It is cool. Gold Coast Toyota goes away. Now we're going to go to Nicholas Sarpour. He is on Sam's Town. Nicholas got a big win, a big paycheck as he plays second place at the Salinas Rodeo. Salinas, California with their 101st rodeo this year. That's a big one. This is wrong. And this guy won it all, huh? Well, close enough, you won second. Still a pretty good check. And it is shoot number one. That Nick is getting the tail of that bull rope pulled down tight. Seventy 
31 points is what we need to beat set in place by Garrett Lang. The matchup between Garrett Lang and Tombstone. Awarded the Cowboys 71 championship points right now. Nick Sarkar is the man. I'm still looking for my 75 for my 80 point bull ride. Here we go right here. At two more. Three more. Do it, Cowboy. These guys don't have jobs during the week. Their job during the week is to drive from Run World Rodeo to the next. Here's Nicholas. Yes, Nicholas. Come on. Into his hand. Yep. Yeah. Too close for me to call. We look for official Rocky Steagle. He says the thumbs are down. And I tell you what, right now, friends, that was that 80-point ride we were looking for. He came here a champion. How about we put our hands together and let him leave here as a champion as well. No score. The Nicholas Sarkar, no score. That brings us down to our final cowboy here for our second section of the bull riding. Ty Yates on Big Deer. Check that, we got two. Yeah, two chances in that prize. This is the matchup right here, Steve. This is the one that can do it, I think. I hope you're right. I still want to see an 80-point bull ride. We might have to bring our little cowgirl back out here to get one, y'all think? She was close. Huh? I think she can outride them. Dang sure got a bigger grin than they do. Grin that she is a cutie. All right, this is gonna be right in the gate. Shoot number two, where the Cowboys are preparing themselves for. When this Cowboy nods his head and that shoot gate opens, you can see our Cowboy bullfighter, Donnie Castle on the knee, watch this bull spin a hole right in the earth, right in front of that bucket shoot. That's what we're looking for right now. He's kind of leaning on him in there, getting a... He think they just lean against the back of the bucket shoots knowing what's fixing to happen. So he's an athlete too. He's ready to get a jump at him. He says, don't mess with me. I'm ready. As we mentioned before, the one place these cowboys want to spend the least amount of time is in that 3 by 8 bucket shoot. Shake the gate. He's ready now. Yeah. Right there. Yes. Not there for the eight seconds venture. Pat him on the back with a little hospitality. <laughs> Dangerous job roping bulls and dragging them out. Y'all give him a hand. That is one cowboy job right there. Boy, 72 points is where we need to be, Andrew. <laughs> Be tough, Cowboys. You can do it. Yes, Andrew. Come on. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Watch out. Get up. Get up. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Aaron Hargo and Donnie Castle as they step in there to ensure that that cowboy made it back to the buck and shoot safely. No score for Andrew, no score. And it was a pleasure hanging out with you for our professional rodeo. On behalf of our good friends from the Ventura County Fair, you can see our ramps are getting set up right now. We do have freestyle motocross riding coming to us. We would also like to thank Miss Barstow Rodeo, Miranda Westman Alman for being here. Go ahead and give a tip of the hat to Mr. Cotton Rosser, the king of the Cowboys, as he makes way around. And stick around for our Ventura County Freestyle Motocross ride in action.
Riley Lee, the motocross jumping is next. Hey, Jared, do you want to see some freestyle motocross riders? Let them hear you right now. And some of the classics. From Lincoln, California, please welcome our first freestyle motocross rider. Jesse, test pilot Jolson. From Bedford, Oregon, he was a former bareback rider. He is now one of the top freestyle motocross riders in the world. Say hello to Justin Airtime Ayers. Our third and final bad boy from Los Angeles, California. Say hello to Jackpot. Here's how it works. These guys are going to be risking their life every time that they jump. They'll go bigger and they'll go better tricks the more noise you make. They can see your hands in the air and they can feel the stomping of your feet. So right before they hit that launch ramp, if you want to come a little bit undone, go ahead and do so. Here comes Jack Potts. Just warming up. Test pilot. With a little bar hop action. Jack Bond passing out the distance. Justin Airtime Airs. With a huge whip in the house. One thing you do got to take into consideration, a little breeze on our level is a big breeze, 40 feet up.
see Justin Airtime Airs go huge, make some noise right now. As he's
What's, what's your next rodeo? Uh, moto days and the rodeo days inside the arena. And what we try to do is we try to obviously promote our products, but also give the kids stickers because that's what they all want, and then they remember us in the long term. We're also passing around our 27-year anniversary uh, booklet, which shows we've been in Thousand Oaks, Ventura County for over 27 years, providing farm equipment for many people as well as street uh, the street motorcycle transportation, commuter transportation as well. So we just try to expose ourselves as far as what we can do for the community. And we also give back too. We try to do two or three charitable events each year to give back riders helping riders. So any rider that's fallen down, we like to help them. So we're here to try to support that. And then we're giving away a free helmet, a bell helmet on Wednesday. And uh, we collect information from them so that we can send them our information as well as announce our winners. So we're gonna give away a few things. So. That's what we're here for. Have a good time at the fair.